Hello, this is Razor. I am going to show you how to roll back or go back to a previous version of uh, Windows 10. It would be the version that you had last. You only have a short amount of time. I believe it's like 10 days or something like that. 7 to 10 days to do it in after you try one of the updates. To make sure you're within that time frame to do it, you pull up this PC. Now if you don't have it on the taskbar down here like I do, you can come over here, whoop, not there. <laughs> you can come right here and you can type in this PC. When it pops up here, come on, got to get my mouse working. When it pops up, you just click on it. Now you go to whichever drive is your main memory for Windows, things like that. Um, this is the one that I save all my games, videos, everything on. So this would be one that has your main Windows files. This one right here has windows.old. If it has that, then you should be able to go back. Once you make sure you have that, you click on start icon. You go to the little gearbox, click on it. Then you scroll down to update and security. Click on it. On the left hand column, you will see recovery. Click on that. Then right here, it just says go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Click get started. <clears throat> and you have to wait on this to finish. It's going to pop up right here. Why are you going back? My apps or devices won't work on this build. Earlier builds seemed easier to use. Uh, they seem faster or they seem more reliable or you can click here for another reason you don't actually have to tell them any more than that um, if you don't want to pick anything in particular you can just click for another reason then click next now at any point in time you can actually cancel this but right here it lets you know check for updates it says before you go back try installing the latest updates so since the time that you updated it there may be more updates that may fix some of the problems that you might be having with the update. You can tell it check for updates or if you want to continue to roll back you just tell it no thanks. And again aside from that one screen we were just on you can actually cancel at any time and keep the update you've got now. It says what you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. So leave it plugged in and turned on. Especially if you have a laptop because this could end up eating up a lot of your battery power. So you want to make sure it's plugged in. Um, after going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them but it's best to be prepared it is always best to go ahead and back up um, anytime that you roll back just in case something happens in the process if you want to continue you click next don't get locked out if you use a password to sign into your previous build make sure you know it you won't be able to sign in without it uh, my password is the same so I'm good Thanks for trying out this build. We'll install the next preview build when it's available. Then you can click go back to earlier build or click cancel. If you want to go back to the earlier build, you just click there and you're good to go. Okay, so I just showed you how to roll back. Now I just did that myself to a previous uh, version of Windows 10. It was the one that I had before. If you come down here and you type in W-I-N-V-E-R, you'll be able to see which version of Windows that you have. Mine is 1703. Now the one that I had updated to was the Fall Creators Edition. I had nothing but trouble with my Farming Simulator 17 game. I diagnose the problem the best way that I could. I don't know a lot about computers, but I found that the problem I was having did not start until I had updated Windows. So I rolled back and now 
Farming Simulator 17 works perfectly fine. So this is something that you can do not just with this current update, but others in the future that come out unless they change this feature. If you come down to oh, my PC, <laughs> open up to them. There we go. Now, I don't know if you saw it before and I didn't show you, but I only had like 26 gigabyte free on my C drive. Now I have 47.2 gig free. And that's after doing the rollback, it erased everything that was on it from the new update. If you come over here and you click on settings, which I call it a gearbox or a little gear, you'll notice that some of these apps are uh, removed. That's because they were with the update. Any apps that you have before you up, uh, upgraded to the newer version, you can lose those too, either while upgrading or when you roll back. So it's always good to have regular um, saves, like backups of everything that you've got that you want kept. Um, if I go back into update and security now, and then I go back over here on the left side, I click on recovery. Now, if you look, reset this PC and advanced startup are the only ones that I can do now. I lost the one in the middle. The reason I lost it is because I did roll back to it. But I believe it's 10 days you have to be able to roll back to. Now, today is the 24th. I upgraded to it on the 21st. It's actually uh, 12.52 a.m. on the 24th. So I'm well within that 10-day period. If you're outside of that 10-day period, then it's going to look like this. You won't have the option to roll back. So always make sure that you do any of the testing, things like that that you want within that 10-day if you do update. You're not required to update right off the bat anymore you can actually take some time and wait which is what i should have done i should have waited to make sure that all of the problems and issues with this one were fleshed out by others who know more about the software than i do and can test it out and find out better of what's going on um, and then report back to windows or microsoft i mean what's going on with the new update uh, I didn't do that. I jumped the gun. I got it shortly after it's come out and I ran into problems. So I'm going to hold off on updating again. Uh, I'm not going to update until after I'm sure that they've got a lot of these bugs worked out of it. Um, plus Windows for me was just running very, very, very slow with the update. Now it's running a lot faster and it's more efficient. Um, you might have seen that uh, my cursor got stuck down here at the bottom and earlier in the video before I rolled back. That was some of the problems I kept having with it. Now it's working very fluently as you can see. I don't have any issues. So always keep that in mind. You've always got this option to roll back. And the video that I did where I was showing the problems I was having with Farming Simulator 17 um, where Windows 10's file creator update was corrupting my files. I will post that online uh, as well so that anybody can look at that and see what was going on. So if you like the video, please click like. If you have any comments, please feel free to share them. I do ask that you keep any comments uh, clean, respectful. I want my channels to be ones that are suitable for all ages so please keep your comments g-rated at least um or at the worst <laughs> and uh hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more i do regular farming simulator series i have a role play series that i'm in the middle of and thanks to being able to roll back i was able to save all of those files so now i can continue from where i left off at so I hope you have a nice day, and if you play games, I hope you have fun and enjoy your games.